So today is July 7th and it's about 7 o'clock in the morning and I'm walking out of my cottage and down to my vegetable garden. And um, I love this garden. Everything seems to be very vibrant and growing. However, these are the uh, opium poppies. Perennials probably someplace, annuals here. Um, this is what our CIA gets their illegal money for guns, guns arm, 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 arms. That's why we're in Afghanistan. That's why the Russians, it's for the poppy and the other natural resources. Oil, gas, whatever. It's not about freedom or democracy or the Taliban. It's just not. So anyway, here are my, um, here's my cucumbers. They're, they're flowering. Nasturtiums, beans, lima beans, flowers, which I love, and all the strawberry plants that um, will be better next year. And over here are my bee greens, which I've been thinning. Arugula, which uh, I guess I'm going to have to pull out, cut back, save the do the, oh, this is also spinach. That's so, that's bolting now. now. That's arugula. That's spinach. It's just too hot. Um, actually, the spinach that I planted was supposed to pretty much go through the main summer, but not this year. And my mescaline mix is um, starting to get bitter. Oh, goodness. And those are my uh, scarlet runner beans that will produce beautiful red blossoms for the hummingbirds. And there's one coming right there. And wonderful beans to eat. Asparagus bed over there, which I put in this year, which the chipmunks have dug holes in and are pl now planting the uh, sunflower seeds, which are coming up everywhere. And these are these great tires that a friend brought um, off a stock car, stock car, you know, the stock car, the racing car. I love them. Angelica herbs are planted there. And here are some Swiss chard, which I love because of all the beautiful colors. These came back from last year. Um, again, I have to harvest these. See, things are going to seed. Not good. Beautiful poppies again. Then over here are volunteer sunflowers. Can't wait. Um, then in here are my basil plants, which <clears throat> I've got to transplant and start making pesto, red onions, more Swiss chard. Romaine lettuce, which is now starting to get bitter. Broccoli, which I'm getting some volunteers after the main head. Um, and then here's my problem. I've got really vital green plants. Hardly any blossoms. I did shake the blossoms gently this morning so they might self-pollinate. But I only get five hours of sun. I'm now about 7 in the morning. I'm not going to get sun here till about 10. And it's only going to be here till about 3. Not good. But Oregon doesn't have much sun and they grow a lot of things. So, anyway, I'm thinking, this is my lasagna garden, which I build like a compost above the soil. I'm thinking there might be too much nitrogen. That may be the problem. So, and then here's my herb garden with lots of wonderful herbs. And um, my parsley, which is now seeding. I've got to cut that back. More tires. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but they're, th these um, squash plants just aren't, well, they're not getting bigger, so I guess I shouldn't have done that in the tires. And they're, if they're getting pollinated, they're not producing any vegetables. Another angelica plant. Now here's another dilemma. This is my zucchini plant, which is beautiful, beautiful. And there are little bugs in there. They aren't, you know, they don't necessarily get pollinated by bees. Um, I hope those bugs are a good sign. Those are ants. Now I just wonder why they're in there. I wonder if they're... Uh-oh. There's the... Uh-oh. See? That little bug in there? That is the squash bug. That is not a good sign. That is not a good sign. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to... Do something about that one. Jeez, you know, goodness. They just find their way here. Just, oh, it's a constant battle. But anyway, those are potatoes, which I should be mounding up. Another tomato plant. 
and Stella Adoro Daylilies, which I love. And then over here are more poppies and sugar snap peas and, and, and snow peas, which are, again, it's getting too hot for peas, so I'm going to have to... <coughs> I think that's big enough, wouldn't you say? Probably should have done it yesterday. So, oh boy, they're really coming in. So these are getting pollinated beautifully, so I don't know why. I mean, I have seen little zucchinis coming, but, you know, usually they just all of a sudden just va-voom, they're there. So these are growing very, very slowly, but there are zucchinis there. They haven't rotted and fallen off, so that's hopeful. And um, so this is my little garden. Um, the gardens I've had in the past have always had, <coughs> have always had uh, sun up to sundown sun. So we're doing the best we can here. <laughs> um, anyway, I love my garden. You can just feel the energy. It's just beautiful and peaceful. As you can hear the, look at this. The sun's just starting to fall and illuminate this beautiful poppy. Isn't that pretty? Aren't you beautiful? You are very beautiful. You are very beautiful. See the sun? Beautiful. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do. And look at that color. <clears throat> the older I get, the more I love red. Obviously, it must have something to do with blood, the life force. So anyway, and there's my little cottage looking back at it. And um, evening primrose over there, the yellow. And, uh, so, there it is. There you are. There's my garden. So, that's it from Appleton, Maine. Bye-bye.